What's good, everybody? I'm San Antonio 17. I've been busy with life and all other things. In the meantime, I've been playing Devil May Cry for the PlayStation 2. I'm almost done with it. I'm at Mission 22. I'm at the final boss. So I'll be giving you a review on the game next month. I'll beat it at the end of this week, let alone this month. So, as for movie reviews, I've been start doing that, and it's Twilight. I got something to say about the movie. I'll do a rant on the fangirls and the haters. It'll be the first and last time I'll crush the the fan base. I mean, the fanatics more than the haters. I'm gonna be on the equal ground from now on. Without further ado, it's time for discussion video. 2009 video games, which of them I'm looking forward to. 2007 was a great, great year to the point you have critics saying, oh, 2007 in video game industry will never be topped. 2008, which is last year, was, to me, was a good year, but not great. I mean, you see some games that are good, and yet games that are just beyond overhyped and, and end up being a letdown. And I'll name some games that came out last year, such as Soul Calibur 4, Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword, Sonic Chronicles in the Dark Brotherhood, Sonic Unleashed, Gears of War 2, Resistance 2, Fall of Man, Little Big Planet, 2 Human, uh, Madden NFL 09, NBA Live 09, uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Mario Kart Wii, Call of Duty War at War, uh, Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway, Mercenaries 2, World in Flames, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, Naruto The Broken Bond, Clash of Ninja Revolution for the Nintendo Wii, uh, what else I can think of, Bleach, Dark Souls for the Nintendo DS, Devil May Cry 4, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. I mean, just so many games that just came out last year. So, 2009 will be a good year as well. And there are some games on the Wii I'm looking forward to, such as Sonic and the Black Knight, uh, Ghostbusters, the video game is coming out on multi platform. I'm a fan of Ghostbusters, so Tenchu, Shadow Assassins, and Mad World. I mean, this game is getting crushed to the ground before it even before it even comes out. It'll be it'll be released on March 31st. Now, as for the Xbox 360, there's tons of them. Well, I'll keep it short. Alpha Protocol, Espionage. RPG is supposed to be like Mass Effect. Uh, what else? Mass Effect 2 is supposed to be out at the end of this year. Halo 3 ODST. Some people are going to hate this game for the fact it, it's not Master Chief. Doesn't have the superhuman abilities. Doesn't have the super armor. The human player is going to have more vulnerable. Going to be more vulnerable than ever. And they have to take it to a stealthy approach, like like Splinter Cell stealth approach. Uh, Fight Night Round Four, a boxing game. I don't think that game's gonna ever gonna top Fight Night Round Three. That's just my opinion. What else I can say? Uh, UFC 2009 Undisputed. The last UFC game was out was. Five years ago, Sudden Impact, and it got crappy scores all the way. So, let's hope that THQ learned their lesson. Hope they learned their lesson. What else? 
Last but not least would be Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 Fusion. I only played the first installment, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. So it's coming out in multi platforms, including PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo DS. So there's some games coming out for the PlayStation 3, like Infamous, God of War 3, Killzone 2, aka the Halo Killer. I find that very hard to believe. Splatterhouse for multi platform PS3 and the Xbox 360. Just Cause 2, King of Fighters 12, Chronicles of Riddick, Ten uh, Tekken 6, Techno Bowl Kickoff. Oh, yeah. I did say Afro Samurai. If I didn't, that's my own fault. So, yep, those are my lists. Thank you for logging in, and I will catch you on the flip side. This discussion is over.